toy makers saw nothing sexual about this vintage 1966 toy. Hasbro recalled the doll after complaints, it's an officially licensed Marvel toy. We've gone in search of the most inappropriate toys for kids that sink worlds below the realm of bad idea, all the way down to the what the hell were you thinking variety. And you won't guess what we found. I mean, have you ever heard of or played with a toy called the racist gollywog? Or what about pregnant Barbie? Or even crazier, pee and poo dolls? I'm Mike with List25, and let's deep dive into these highly inappropriate toys in our list, 25 shockingly inappropriate kids toys that shouldn't exist. 25, the bear coat hanger. Cultures other than your own can sometimes be pretty confusing. So I'm not really sure what to make of 3M's decision to enter the toy market with their colorful coat hooks for children. There's a bear, a cat, and then a frog. Cute, right? Well, oh, that is until you realize that in the upper left corner of the box, the clearly aroused bear says, hug me. Then you notice the cat with a sneaky grin on his face and his protruding manhood, cathood, that says, follow me. And the frog with its beady little eyes squeezed shut in delight that says, and I kid you not, kiss me. 24. Play-Doh Pumps. It's not every year that you hand your little niece a neatly wrapped gift beneath the Christmas tree only to discover less than a week later that the fun looking Play-Doh set you gave her contains a rather oddly shaped tool. In the literal sense, Hasbro had to go into damage control mode when irate parents published photographs of the extruder from the Sweet Shop Cake Mountain playset. While many people found the Play-Doh mishap hilarious, others complained that it ruined their entire Christmas. 23. Pudo. Let's be realistic. At face value, any toy designed to realistically mimic poop is a terrible idea when it comes to Christmas gifts. Not only is this a real toy, but it was also one of the top selling Amazon toys in 2013. Unfortunately, Pudo ended up on another list two years later, 2015's most dangerous toys. That's because it can induce allergic responses in children sensitive to wheat. The disposable container has an allergy notice stating that the dough includes wheat, but most people didn't realize that gluten intolerant children had to avoid the toy. Wheat allergies are not to be trifled with and can cause symptoms ranging from rashes, headaches, and difficulty breathing to life-threatening anaphylaxis. 22. The Breast Milk Baby Doll This has nothing to do with the traditional breast milk versus formula debate but rather with finding it weird to see your three-year-old strap on a bra and connect a doll to a plastic nipple. Yeah. How early is too early to start breastfeeding? Realistic baby dolls have been around for a long time. However, the Spanish manufacturer Berjuan has gone a little too far with Bebe Groton, the breastfeeding doll. Parents despise the strange doll that's outfitted with a halter top-like bra that girls can wear and pretend to nurse with, complete with flower-like nipples that emit a loud sucking sound. While some parents applaud the company's goal of educating children about breastfeeding, most are disgusted by a toy that allows girls to simulate nursing before they're even mature enough to understand it. 21. The 9-11 Toys You'd have to live on another planet not to understand that the 9-11 terrorist attacks on the Twin Towers should not be made fun of. Despite this, toys depicting the attack and a guy resembling Osama bin Laden at the Twin Towers began appearing in candy bags in 2004. Consumers and Lizzie Corp, the corporation that supplied the sweets, were shocked. The toys were purchased by the distributor from an importer as a part of a mixed lot, with the offending figurines classified as plastic swing sets. Lizzie acted promptly, recalling the chocolates, and no doubt delivering really harsh remarks in the direction of the manufacturers. 20. The Dora Aquapet Have you ever heard of the Dora Aquapet? It was a Dora the Explorer figurine in some sort of tube or shaft. Aquapets apparently sing and react to the sound of children's voices and other ambient noises. It sounds completely innocent. So what happened to get it on today's inappropriate toy list? Well, this one is all about appearances, and it should just take a glance to see why it created such a stir. I should probably mention that uh, it also needs batteries to operate. 19. The Talking Troll Doll The Talking Troll Doll made waves in the news during 2020, and for good reason. She was cute and has the perkiest little voice. 
until you press the button located right between her legs to make her giggle, laugh, and gasp. There were many, many parents who were enraged at the idea that any designer with a brain would approve of such a design. Hasbro recalled the doll after complaints that they were grooming children for sexual abuse later that same year. 18. Baby's First Baby There will always be a lot of garbage on the toy market during the holidays. In 2012, we had Baby's First Baby, a pregnant baby doll whose fetus is also pregnant. Fortunately, this toy never made it to shelves. It was the nightmare creation of artist Darren Cullen. The words, real pregnancy action, are emblazoned over the presentation box, which also includes three milk bottles, one for each generation. The back of the package reads stretch marks, cravings, with an additional, waters really break. The charming gift was also available in a twins pack, ensuring that, quote, the fun never stops. After the shock wears off, you may find yourself wondering what Cullen was trying to say. 17. The E.T. Finger even though this toy portrays a memorable scene from Steven Spielberg's 1982 film, E.T. the Extraterrestrial, it's by far one of the worst toys ever. Hulk hands is awesome, but this E.T. finger isn't. I can't quite figure out why... Oh, wait, I understand why. It's because this wrinkly old finger resembles a prop from Boogie Nights rather than a toy from a children's film. Unsurprisingly, they converted it into a complete hand version in later editions. But you can still pick it up on eBay if you want to add this retro toy to your collection. 16. Pee and Poo Plush Dolls Pee and Poo Plush Toys were created to help your children become more comfortable with the idea of pee and poo. And that's all well and good. But why would anyone want to make their kids comfortable with the concept of playing with their pee and poo? While these are obviously intended to aid with toilet training, it appears that teaching toddlers that handling poo is okay uh, is not the best idea. According to the packaging, it was created in 2004 in Sweden by renowned designer Emma Meggett with educational and safety components in mind. Emma probably doesn't have a toddler of her own. Or didn't, at that point. 15. The Punisher Shapeshifter Yeah, so, um, this happened, and no one raised an eyebrow? The Punisher has a gigantic missile launcher for a penis. We came in thinking most of this was just an innocent oversight, but this? Why does the missile have to come from his crotch? His chest is open. His abs are branded with a skull mouth. Why didn't they put it there? It would be horrifying if the rocket came bursting out of the teeth of the grinning skull on the Punisher's stomach. As it stands, he merely looks thrilled to see you. To death? This particular gem was one of a line of shapeshifter toys, essentially a Punisher transformer, and we caught him mid-transformation. We're, I'm presuming that Frank Castle's transformer skills aren't limited. 14. The Nestle Rafiki and Kiara figurine. In the movie The Lion King, a wise baboon called Rafiki acts as Simba's spiritual advisor. That setting was masterfully replicated in this little figurine from the second film, Simba's Pride. Or it would have been. If the placement of the infant Kira and the movement of the Rafiki figure hadn't turned it into a depressing show of, you know, that in the animal kingdom. The principle is straightforward. Rafiki's tail is pushed and he pulls Kira into the air. Kira is lowered again when you release the tail. <sighs> Unfortunately, the toy didn't work correctly. And no matter how hard you pressed on the tail, he only raises Kira a few millimeters upward. 13. Growing up Skipper. Skipper was initially intended to be Barbie's little sister, but in 1975, Mattel thought it was high time for Skipper to experience puberty. To illustrate puberty for a young girl as accurately as possible, Mattel spent about 20 minutes researching. Yes, factually accurate puberty hitting Skipper could grow an inch taller if you twisted her arm, and she would magically develop breasts, just like a real teenage girl. Obviously, the doll created a lot of uproar, so much so that Mattel never attempted anything that dumb ever again. And I'm kidding, because they actually took it one step further. 12. Barbie's Pregnant Friend Imagine the uproar if Mattel had made Barbie the pregnant doll. Mattel reasoned that it could get away with making Barbie's happily married pal Midge a mother-to-be rather than the renowned blonde who, despite her house, car, and impossible proportions, can't convince Ken to ask the big question. 
But marriage doesn't make the toy any more appropriate for young girls, mainly because a curled up baby pops out of the doll's stomach when it's opened. Yes, it's the marvelous miracle of life. But very few parents like to see their child recreate a C-section. And you know what? If you think these were inappropriate, just wait until number one. 11. Bratz Dolls. Bratz Dolls, the rival doll line that sprung up in the early 2000s in direct opposition to Barbie, have been controversial in the world of toys since their inception. With their outrageous makeup and unrealistic proportions, they have been criticized for promoting unrealistic and sexualized body standards for young girls. The first obvious topic on the chopping block is their looks. With eyeliner that would make a scene kid blush, lips that probably required more than a couple of fillers, and the signature smoky lidded eyes, they seem more like a problematic Instagram influencer trying to pull off an edgy but ill-advised look than a toy meant to entertain young girls. Not to mention the mini skirts and dozen inch heels that make Barbie's outfits seem puritanical. And somehow, it doesn't stop there. On more than one occasion, the Bratz doll line has been accused of promoting a harmful message to young girls. That appearance comes before substance. Not to mention their history of alleged cultural appropriation with several of their products. Who knows? Maybe parents are just scared of eyeliner. 10. Harry Potter's Vibrating Broom Mattel's now discontinued battery-operated Nimbus 2000, modeled after Harry's first broom, included a grooved stick and a handle for kids to ride around home. The questionable part? Well, it vibrated. Some of the now-deleted Amazon comments were so excellent that they had to be posted with a wink, like the one from the 32-year-old mom who wrote that she enjoyed riding the broom just as much as her tweens. I bet she did. 9. Rad Repeat and Tarzan <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this doll. <laughs> as long as it's not moving. Sure, a crass teenage boy may claim that his right hand is positioned as if it were hiding a hidden... Uh, you know. But the real magic happens when you pull the small lever on Tarzan's back. Please, just do yourself a favor and watch the hilarious YouTube clip on this toy. There is no doubt about what he's doing. Amazingly, Mattel built him with a mechanism that can only do that. Mattel had to redesign the doll after roughly 100% of the boys who picked it up had Tarzan doing the dirty after less than five seconds. Eight, the chopped up woman. This toy is a bag containing an anatomically correct woman who has been chopped into several bloody pieces. I kid you not. She has blood seeping from her wounds and blood stained spurts across her face. You know, perfect for the parent who wishes to divert their future serial killer's attention away from animal cruelty. 7. The Racist Gollywogs Gollywog dolls, named after a blackface character in the 1895 book The Adventures of Two Dutch Dolls and a Gollywog by Florence Kate Upton and Bertha Upton, were incredibly popular in England and elsewhere in the first half of the 20th century, but lost popularity in the 1960s during the Civil Rights era. For obvious reasons. However, their popularity was revived when a shop on the Queen of England's estate was discovered selling toys in the 2000s. They were promptly removed from the shelf, but more gollies were found in other English stores. It appeared to be a case of nostalgia, as many grandparents wanted to acquire them for their grandchildren. Some things are better left in the past. 6. The Oreo Barbie You know, while we're on the subject of racist dolls, we thought it'd be a great idea to add Mattel's Oreo Barbie to the list. A toy company collaborating with a company that offers sugary treats may be considered problematic in and of itself. Still, Mattel took the partnership to an unacceptable level when they collaborated with Nabisco's Oreo Cookies to produce a black Barbie in 1997. There was clearly not a single black or even socially aware person in the boardroom when this decision was made, nor during the lengthy design and marketing stage. If there was, they would have undoubtedly explained that Oreo is an ethnic slur used to define a black person who's white in the middle. The dolls were met with fury and disbelief, and Mattel promptly recalled all Oreo Barbies from stores once they realized the extent of the issue. 5. Fruise Pop So, for the second time, I have to wonder if the folks who design items for children are incredibly naive, or if they're a bunch of giggling stoners trying to see what they can sneak past the marketing team. The Fruise Pop resembles a prosthetic penis, for lack of another YouTube accepted word. Okay, you know, you can say that about a lot of food. <laughs> However, licking the Fruise Pop long enough results in a gooey material squirting into your mouth. 
The Fruz Pop was promoted to children in Singapore with a voice that said, lick it, suck it. Perhaps they're not as cynical as we are over there? Four, the Oozinator. Oh, well, that doesn't sound too bad, does it? You know, some kind of squirt gun, right? <laughs> well, here's a photo of what it looks like to get shot by the Oozinator. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, which is fortunate because typing a description of what appears to be occurring to the child in the picture is definitely a crime in all 50 states. But that's not water though, it's ooze. It's far worse than action, believe me. Just watch the YouTube ad. And of course, it, it, it just had to be pump action. And since we're on the subject of dodgy squirt guns, I guess I'm gonna have to tell you about the uh, three the Batman water gun. <laughs> if you want to give it a go, please, please try to convince me that the toy maker saw nothing sexual about this vintage 1966 toy. So what if you pull a plug out of Batman's hiney to fill it with water, then press his private parts to make him shoot water out of his mouth? They probably did that all the time on the playground in the 60s, right? Either way, we'd hate to see what his trusty sidekick Robin looks like. Two, Wolverine's squeaky hammer. Yeah, that's Wolverine glaring at your child with his genitalia on full display. Let's get that out of the way immediately. I recognize that many of you have previously seen photographs of this squeaky toy without any context, but where did it come from? It has to be a one-time manufacturing error, a deliberate prank, or some cheap imitation toy sold on the streets of Beijing, right? <laughs> Wrong. It's an officially licensed Marvel toy, and they all looked the same. We even found video evidence to prove it. I mean, really, what happens when your child returns home and discovers that his Wolverine squeaky hammer has deflated, leading him to believe that Wolverine died, and then his imagination kicks in, and he thinks, I can save you, Wolverine, and grabs the deflated hammer, buries his head at Wolverine's happy place, and blows for all he's worth, and Wolverine comes back to life. Why doesn't the design team ever think about these kind of things? One, the interesting kid slide. A few years ago, this giant inflatable, clearly a penis slide turned up all over the internet, but no one seemed to know where it came from. Europe was as close as anyone came to nailing it down. As soon as you see it in action at what appears to be a child's birthday party, you'll expect a SWAT team to be swooping in. So if the clip leaves you confused, don't worry, I'm here to help you out. What you can see is part of an inflatable train that kids can wriggle through. We just wanna know why the train has to end in a giant member. Honestly, nothing on a train looks like that. And why do the kids have to crawl out the opening at the tip? And why are we the only people who think there's something wrong with letting your kid play in there? I have so, so many questions. So do you know any other inappropriate kids toys we may have missed? Did you own any? If so, let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this list, you need to check out 25 kids toys banned for strange reasons. All of those should probably be on that list. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias. Links in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you next time.